Hi, welcome to this new video about YubiKey and I have my brand new YubiKey and I wanted to use to secure my Microsoft account. Uh, you can use YubiKey with a lot of account and Microsoft account is just an example on the kind of protection you can get with a YubiKey. And in this video, I will take a non-standard route because you can use YubiKey directly with Microsoft account is fully supported, but I want to show you how to use Yubico Authenticator to authenticate with the standard two-factor authentication that you usually use with Microsoft Authenticator or Google Authenticator. And if you have a YubiKey, you should use Yubico Authenticator and I will show you why. This is a standard brand new Microsoft account and to enable two-factor authentication in any advanced security option, you need to click on security on the main menu and then advanced security option and Microsoft uh, gives you, uh, requires from you uh, an alternate email address or a phone number. And this is important because when you configure two-factor authentication for an account, you have advanced security, but you need to have a way not to be locked out from your account. The problem is if you only use username and password and you forget the password, you can always ask to the site to send link reset password to your email. But if you forget your two-factor authentication, there's no way the site can give you a reset on your email or it will completely waste the usefulness of two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication is necessary because if an attacker grab your username and password, they cannot reset your account two-factor authentication. They need the two-factor authentication. So it is imperative that you always take care of your account, being sure that you have at least one method for not being locked out of your, from your account. After you have inserted a phone number or another email, you can access your account. And now it's time to turn on the two-step verification. So actually my two-step verification, my two-factor authentication is off. I click turn on to enable two-factor authentication. And it gives me um, some instruction and it asks me to have an authenticator app. So I want to use not the Microsoft Authenticator nor Google Authenticator, but Yubico Authenticator because it works perfectly with your YubiKey. Now pressing next, I have another uh, interface where I can choose an app, an alternate email address or a phone number. Clearly I'm choosing an app and you see on the right, that's the screen of a smartphone where I've installed um, the Yubico Authenticator app. So I don't want to use Microsoft Authenticator app, so I can click set up a different Authenticator app. And now what the site asked me to do is to take a picture of this QR code that contains a secret, a secret that will be use, usually stored in my phone. So I can use this secret to generate a six number, um, a six digit number that will verify that I indeed have the the secret, the two-factor authentication. Now, usually uh, what I wanna do is right-click and save image in my hard drive. And that's because I wanna use this image as a backup. After I saved my image in a file, I opened with a standard picture viewer. And that is important because usually if you install your secret from the QR code into a smartphone, you need to be sure you have a backup because if your smartphone get lost or for some reason uh, the smartphone get broken, you have a problem because you lost your authentication. So it's always advisable to save the QR code inside a safe location like um, password manager. And please do not use the same password manager you use to store username and password for your standard way of authentication and use the same password manager for storing the QR code image. Usually you need to use a different uh, password manager. I personally use a uh, Kepas archive where I have all of my QR code generated for all of my account and it's not synchronized into the cloud and I keep in you know, a couple of USB key in my office, just a backup. Now. All I need to do is scan the QR code with my Yubico Authenticator. The operation is simple. I just tap my uh, the, the upper uh, right 
plus account, and then I can take a picture. It recognizes my QR code, and now I need to insert my UBK. You can have NFC, you can have um, USB, and I, I want to show you that I have a UBK USB A, and I have a standard USB A to C adapter, and that's to show you. I can clearly use a simple adapter to connect to a phone that has no NFC because Yubico is really flexible, the Yubikey. I can use an adapter. So I plug my key in the USB-C and I press the key. And let's wait a little bit and I press save. And okay, I've saved my uh, QR code inside my YubiKey. And now I have my code I can type into my generator, into, into my app to verify that indeed I correctly stored my QR code. Just wait a little bit and okay, I am ready to go. As you can see, Microsoft and every serious um, provider for uh, two-factor authentication suggest you to have some backup codes. This code you find here, you can find this code, our recovery code you should store in a safe place, in the same place where you store the QR code. Because if you lost your phone, you need this code to access, but no. If you use the Yubico Authenticator, you don't need to have to lose your phone. You need to lose your key because the QR code, the seed code is really stored inside your key, not inside your phone. And that is the main advantage of using Yubico Authenticator over a standard authenticator program. And now you have your account protected with a two-step verification using a standard QR code scanning. So this is not a specific method for your Yubikey. It's the method, the standard QR code you have in the vast majority of accounts that support two-factor authentication. So thanks to the ability of using the Yubico Authenticator, you can still use your Yubikey even for uh, sites where you have only the standard QR code based two-factor authenticator but you have a lot of advantages and I'm gonna show you the advantages. First advantage, your code, your, your seed, it's inside the YubiKey and it's much more difficult to lose your YubiKey or to break a YubiKey instead of your phone. Your phone can fall to the ground and crash. I hope not, but it can happen. It can stop working. Uh, it can, you can need to change the phone and each time you have the need to change the phone, you have a problem because you need to have a way to backup all of your QR code onto a new phone. Since it is advisable to always have a backup of all of your two-factor authentication format, I had saved my QR code in a safe location, but I can take another YubiKey, a completely different one, and usually people that use YubiKey have at least a couple of keys, and I can simply take another key, insert in my phone, and take a picture of the same QR code. So that gives me the advantage of having the QR code to generate two-factor authentication in two distinct keys. So if I ever lost or one key gets broken, I can always use the other one with zero downtime. Or you can be in a funny situation like I was a couple of months ago when my wife took my phone for error. We have identical phone. So I've got her phone and at a certain point in the, my working day, I needed to generate a two-factor authentication, but no problem. I just installed Yubico Authenticator on my wife's phone and then I use my key to generate a valid code. So it's not important. You can use every phone, even the phone of your friend, just install the application and connect the key. The phone will use the key to generate a code and when you remove the key, the phone is not able to generate a code anymore because the seed is inside the key. So you can use safely your key in another person's phone. So it, you're not bound to have your phone. So if you have two key and you can use in whatever device you want, Android or iOS, it is really, really difficult to be cut off 
from your account if one of the key gets stolen or lost or broken. Using the Authenticator app is really simple. Uh, you just have your application. I insert in the phone my YubiKey. This is because this is an old phone without NFC. You have immediately all of your seed as a standard um, application authenticator. It's like Google or Microsoft Authenticator. You just need to insert the key. If you remove the key, you have no code. If you reinsert the key again, you will have your code again. And then in the upper right, I, you have some menu. One, it's, uh, it's used to show which kind of key is connected to your phone. And the other one is um, it's a settings where you can uh, press a button to add account or to set an optional password. So you can further protect the seed on your key with a password. So if your key gets stolen or lost, an attacker cannot use Ubiqua Authenticator to generate seed, or in setting, you can um, reset everything. And clearly this is a very destructive action because it will reset all the uh, all the OAuth credential in the key. So it is important you don't use this unless you wanna completely reset your key and you are sure you have your uh, QR code, all of your seed stored in another um, key. And then you can click a single account and you can delete a single account or modify a single account like uh, changing the name and telling, I don't want it to be called Microsoft, but it's need to be called uh, something else. So you can rename and so on. You can pin, you can unpin, you can copy um, to clipboard. And remember uh, you can store a certain number of code in your key. In, in fact, if you click setting, you have one of 32 account used. So you can use up to 32 account, two-factor authenticator account in your key. I think it's enough. And if you really have a lot of sites where you use two-factor authentication, you need to buy multiple key, or you can use the key only for your most important account and using a standard authenticator for all the accounts that are not so important. But at the end of the day, I have all of my account in my YubiKey because so I'm sure that I am uh, I have no longer the pain of moving from one fund to another and backing up and restore all of your two-factor authentication or uh, fearing that my phone battery got drained or my phone broke and I'm completely cut off on uh, from all my account that does not natively support the YubiKey. So even if this is not the main advantage of YubiKey, because we will see in other videos where I can really use the YubiKey to the maximum potential, I think that using even for standard two-factor authentication with the standard QR code, it's really an advantage than using standard authenticator function and authenticator program like Google or Microsoft Authenticator because all of your seeds are securely stored inside the key and always with you.